Hi everyone. I just got off a uh, video conference put on by Nokia. And the idea was to discuss the relative merits of open or virtualized radio access networks. Now, the whole thing rests on two key customer financials. Do the, do the mobile network operators have one, the balance sheets, to do any of this or the free cash flow. Those are the two critical factors. And those are the things that you have to be able to look at if you're going to discuss this. Never came up. Not for one second. I even typed in the question. It was skipped immediately. Well, it's a, I got a complex question here. We'll put it till later. Yeah. You know, it, this makes no sense at all. It, there was a little bit of, well, we're going to shift things from CapEx to OpEx. Yeah. And so how does that impact the existing balance sheet? How does that impact existing free cash flow constraints in any meaningful way? The answer, value creation comes first. Well, you can't have value creation on a rotting seedbed. It isn't going to happen. The folks at Nokia have got to get this figured out. They've got to get straight. They got to understand this business doesn't go anywhere. The, the business they're in, all the 5G stuff, it doesn't go anywhere until the finances of the customers are in good shape. The news is going to get bigger here. We've seen Reliance Geo in India under pressure. We've seen the pressure on AT&T. We've seen now the pressure from Elliott Management on SoftBank. We've seen the pressure on Telefonica to divest so many of its operations. We're seeing the pressure on British Telecom to break itself up in effect. We've seen what happened with, uh, with uh, Virgin Media and O2. This is not, this is a wave. It's a tsunami. It's been sitting there in the wings waiting to go for decades. Then, what about energy? You know, as far back as 2011, we showed how you could transform the entire network into an energy generation system, generating energy for energy arbitrage on edge servers. We showed that, demonstrated it quite clearly. What did the Nokia people talk about? Well, maybe we can be more cost effective in our use of energy. That's not what this is about. That's not where the network is going, nor is it about the potential of the network. There's going to be a lot more here. And I don't think Nokia's got this figured out. 